all three of these, which I know you recognize that one, yeah. are original paint patina Jeeps that we did not repaint. Well, good morning. Good morning. I guess you've noticed we have stepped up in the coffee world. Yes, we have. The aroma in the room is amazing. It smells good. It really does smell good. It's not like brewing some coffee that smells really good. We got the Holy Grail blend, which is going extremely well. And we changed the sleeves on the cups. We actually got I coffee mark on there. We used to have Black Mountain for our Jeep accessory line. Yeah. And of course, Blue Island Coffee. So, I love this coffee. It is really, really good. It's my favorite. I got to work with Chris Hopkins on the blend. When you're pouring a cup and it smells great, and it tastes good enough that you don't have to put any creamer in it, that's a real coffee. Yeah, that's good. So look up in the link and order some from us, you'll like it. So what we're doing today is Alex walked into our office yesterday and goes, have you seen the shop lately? I was like, yeah. What do you mean? He goes, it's full of CJs. Oh yeah. Like full. So we didn't just stage this, maybe a little bit because some of them were outside, but every CJ back here is being worked on right now. As you know, our specialty is 76 to 86 CJs. So grab your cup of joe and let's go see some killer CJs. Alex primarily spends all his time on the classic car side of the business, and that's primarily what we show on Coffee Walk, even though we love CJs and work on them every day. We haven't posted a CJ for sale, I think since January, since we sold the 28 CJ collection. Yeah, no, all Which gone. was sold out. Yeah. But this one just came in from West Texas. Um, on the CJs, most of the unusual colors are one year old. Okay. With ex the exception of 9B Olympic White and P1 Classic Black. So this is a 78 rust free jeep out of west texas and what i like about it is it's sun orange it's a very unusual color now what i want to do to this jeep which is not how it left the factory this jeep left the factory of black interior which is fine but i think you should have levi's blue interior oh yeah, absolutely okay so you agree with that well i found a whole bolt of two bolts of correct levi's blue material we've got the buttons we have everything to do it with the correct stitching and uh, actually have a set of seats being made for this. Then put a Levi's blue dash pad. And the other thing I really like to do when I can find them is put a blue steering wheel, which only came out of the accessory catalog or came in a full size Jeep truck or yeah. car, you know, like an, an AMC car. And I think I saw one on the desk. Yeah, I just so happened to have a blue horn button. And so you see where I'm going with that. Yeah. I think this will look outstanding with that. What else I like about this CJ5 is the V8. Most of the V8 CJ vibes were ridden hard, put up wet, and it's power steering and power brakes. So just, a, just a good, honest, rust-free CJ5 that has been painted once, but it is a real sun orange, and they did it the right color. So this Jeep's coming up soon. If you just want a good, fun driver quality Jeep, we didn't restore it, but we'll we'll do mechanical service. And if you like it with a black interior, let us know. Maybe we'll sell it to you like that. If not, we'll end up with blue interior. And next we got a 79. You see the stripe get changed. The colors are very close, yeah. but they are not the same. This is Mandarin orange. And it's a renegade. This is a customer's Jeep that we did a complete exterior cosmetic restoration on. Uh, it's been neat because this customer came up and many years ago, he color changed this Jeep and always regretted it. He wanted to go back to the original color. It's back to the original color. He's come up throughout the process, which we we'll probably work on this Jeep for about eight or 10 weeks. He usually visits on Saturday. It's neat to see the smile on his face. We're just about done. This will leave here next week. And we put a retro sound radio in it. And this is, he wanted the roll bar pad and these seats. It's still got the original carpet in it, which is really unusual. Snap in carpet set. This is a one year only, right, for the carpet? This carpet, yes. This is a, an, an unusual carpet set. It is, I believe it is one year only with that color and the way it's, the way it's installed. So cool Jeep, customer Jeep. This one right here was brought in. It's a 1980 Golden Hawk. Color codes OM dark brown metallic. You've heard me talk about the Golden Hawks, which we have quite a few of them. They all need to be restored because I think they're really neat. Right. There's no definitive number on how many Golden Hawks were made. You see Golden Eagles commonly. Right. I think there's about 650 of these made. Wow. The reason this here is the guy is moving from Dallas, California, which is odd because it seems like everybody's moving from California to here. Yeah. 
And he said, well, I gotta get it out there and it's gotta pass inspection. It's gotta pass smog. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. I said, I won't guarantee that, but we serviced the Jeep, did the brakes, tires, fixed all the leaks. But what we did to help him out, so when it gets to California, I don't wanna set this on a fresh paint, is we normally use the Holly Cypher kits, right. which I really like. The how kits are good too. We used a lot of them in the past. So what we did on this Jeep, the reason we went with a how kit is because it's CARB certified. So that's California Air Resource Board, I think is what it stands for, mm -hmm. which means you did the best upgrade you could possibly do that's available now to make this pass in California and they will generally pass it. Again, I'm not gonna guarantee it, but that's what we did. And when you buy that how kit, you actually get this decal oh, cool. that shows that it is, you know, is CARB certified. Right. So this is an, this basically what that is right there is, is a like on a Chevrolet motor. Oh, like the TBI. Yeah. Right. So they, they changed it and tuned it for the six cylinder. So how it sets that up. Okay. So this is pretty neat. So if you're attempting to get something to pass in California, the best route to go is, is fuel injection. But what we also did is there are actually different catalytic converters. Mm -hmm. Kevin ordered in a California certified catalytic converter, so he's got that paperwork too. So good luck to this customer. It's a cool Jeep, and hopefully he passes inspection. This next one I really, really like. This 81 white Laredo CJ5, which in itself is crazy rare. V8, I was like, I can't see. Well, cool. but it wasn't when it came in. Oh, really? So, it's a 49,000 mile Jeep, and the guy's like, we've had it in our family this entire time, and nobody ever wanted to drive it, because it's a four-cylinder, it's got no power, no power brakes, and no power steering. He goes, what can we do? He goes, I want to put a six-cylinder in it. I said, well, let me, one up you on that. I said, you could have gotten a special order H code V8 and 81. He goes, well, I didn't know that. I thought six was the biggest motor. I said, nope. I said, so if we're going to go non original, mm -hmm. you need to put a V8 in it. Oh, yeah. We went one step further. That's the Holly Sniper kit. Cool. We put an RV cam in it, power steering and power brakes. This Jeep is going to be amazing. Now, an 81 H code Laredo CJ5 is crazy rare. Now you can look in the vent of this and tell it was a four-cylinder, but to me this is an incredible upgrade. He's going to love to drive this because I mean it woke this thing up. It's awesome to drive. Oh, yeah. And next, this Jeep has been here for quite some time. As you know, you've seen this Jeep before. I was excited when I found it. I was yeah. excited when we sold it because we sold it to a very good customer to one of the largest Jeep collections in the United States. 81 H code CJ7 Black Laredo, factory V8, one of a handful made. That's cool. So I looked at the ticket this morning. I looked at all these tickets. Yeah. This is past 600 hours. Dang. Yeah, so we went all the way down the bare frame, all the way up. You've seen this, you know, you brought the frame with powder coated, you brought the body to have it stripped of bare metal. But a lot of what we've done on this is we used a lot of the parts over the years that we've had and we've kind of saved. This front bumper is an NOS front bumper, NOS Marshall light tabs, NOS hood latches, just some really, really neat stuff that we've collected over the years. Of course, we restored the seats, which are turned out fantastic. Steering wheel was restored by Carter and Kathy Kraft at Kraft Customs in Rockwall, Texas, which they are absolutely the best. Okay. Uh, they probably do, I don't know, five or 10 a month for us. It's great. What else is unusual on these 81s is they didn't have the Laredo door panels yet. Okay. They still had the standard door panels. So there's a lot of weird things in in this 81 to get right um, and it's taken a while but it's almost done i think this will be leaving soon it's another reason i wanted to do this today is because all these jeeps are getting close and they're all going to leave so we're actually working on all of these next one is something that uh, has really gone over well and the customers have overwhelmingly loved the process all three of these which i know you recognize that one yeah our original paint patina jeeps that we did not repaint, but we took all the way down, clay barred them, sanded them, and recleared them. That's a really neat process. I'd love doing that oh, stuff. Yeah, me too. So this one right here is an 82 Laredo in Oriental Red. Red Laredo is hard to beat. Basically, what I would consider a rust-free Jeep. You know, if somebody wants to be real picky, there's a little bit of there's some surface rust in the floor on the driver's side, but not a big deal. Roll bar pad, floors are beautiful body was exceptionally straight. Now this one here, yeah. these are still the original stripes. So on the CJs, these stripes were silk screened paint by 3M. Okay. So therefore you can color sand them and shoot on them just like it's paint. So we went ahead and cleared over all these original stripes. 
This one's got heavy, heavy patina, but I still think it's neat. And I really like the way that it, it just kind of bled down. It's super cool. Yes, and you can still see the radio decal. But when we did this, and this is actually a Collins Brothers Jeep, and again, we haven't really had time to work on Jeeps that we could sell, yeah. which I think we have about 80 of them. So chances are we have what you're looking for, but they're gonna need to be serviced, they're gonna need work. We're making this Jeep where it's gonna be a really nice daily driver. So this Jeep came in and it had a rebuilt oh, motor in it, yeah. which is correct, it's an 82 motor. Somebody had no idea what they were doing. It was just a mess. So I went to Junior, I said, go ahead and tear that thing back down to where it's a long block, clean it, make it right, and put a sniper kit on it. So we have power steering, power brakes, and a Holly sniper kit. This is gonna be a fantastic drive Jeep great. to drive. It will drive great. And then the, we have a very, very nice set of factory Laredo seats, no rips or tears going in it. It'll get a new dash pad. And then again, we got a Kraft Customs leather wheel. So look at the difference in those two. It will look fantastic. This Jeep will come together next week. And if you're just looking for a really nice driver, cool patina, Oriental Red, which is a fairly rare color, we don't see it that often, yeah. this will be done next week. Now, this one was in the warehouse and was one of the Jeeps that we sold earlier in the year. The guy had a long list of what he wanted done to it, and he wanted to keep the original paint as well. I love this color. Yeah, th so this is Deep Night Blue. Now you got to look real close, but it, it is faded all the way to the primer in some areas. But we took, actually I think you did this, <laughs> uh, we used the rubber erasers to, and took all the stripes off this Jeep. Yep. And then we, cut, then we sanded it, then we cleared it, then we put a new stripe kit on it. But deep night blue with nutmeg interior and Laredo is just stunning. So again, this is original paint Jeep. Now it had some of the common rust spots in it, which you saw, which are down in this area here. Yeah. Gustavo properly fixed them. It's all sheet metal. We did a blend there with the blue. Mm -hmm. So this Jeep's probably nine, te technically 90% original paint, but we did a couple of blends. But I just think it's so cool to be able to save one of them so much faster. The interior color just is really, really neat. Got us do spray lead liner, and there's something that I was, I was confused by. He didn't want the nutmeg carpet back in it, which really, I got. He goes put black in it. It actually looks pretty good. It does. I mean, normally it would have nutmeg carpet, but black looks really good. So a beautiful deep night blue CJ7, and then this one over here is I think uh, Alex has been looking specifically for a red Laredo with nutmeg interior. Yes. Which he wanted to turn this into that. However, we have a buyer for it. This is the one that came out of Waxahachie, Texas. You remember we yanked it out of the barn? Yeah, it turned out great. We struggled with that commando. Yeah. That's the original paint on this Jeep. And you can look at the video. It was very faded. And we did do a new stripe kit on this one as well. So all three of these Jeeps have just been clear coated, not paint. Yep. And this is Sebring Red, 1985. So That's again, one year only color. Yeah. So there you have it, eight CJs. Now I did miss one. There was an 82 Limited that was in here last week, the silver one. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a little segment on there and Zach completed in there on how difficult it is to paint that Jeep. Uh, it's completed. Alex wasn't here, he's pretty good with the camera. Kelsey wasn't here, she's really good with the camera. And Zach was on the world's longest honeymoon, so I did the video. So it's gonna be the worst segment you've ever seen, but I want you to see the 82 Limited. Hey. So there you have it. The coffee's amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is. It really smells good. It'll brighten up your day just to have this smell and aroma in your kitchen. So there's eight CJs. If you're interested in having some work done in your CJ, Kevin, our general manager, who's also in charge of the whole back end of the business and all the restoration, it's Kevin at cbjeep.com. Now, we are starting to put a CJ collection back together. We want quality CJs like what you have seen here, mm -hmm. 76 to 86. If you have one or know of one in your garage, family member has it, maybe your neighbor or friend has it, let us know. Hit us up at social at cbjeep.com.
Are you going to tell them about the uh, YJ and TJ and LJ collection we're building too? We have a YJ, TJ, LJ collection. Some really, really short mile, neat, neat stuff yeah. that nobody's seen. They're not advertised, but we will be doing a segment up and coming soon. If you're looking for an extremely low mileage TJ, extremely low mileage LJ, or very low mileage YJs, the YJs have really have come on strong lately. Yeah, I shouldn't have sold mine. No, you, should, you, <laughs> had, you had a neat one. There, you know, there's a 12,000 mile YJ Sahara with it now. I saw that, have yeah. you seen it? Champagne color. Yep. But anyway, we'll, we'll do that one here in the future. But, so what are they supposed to do now? Like, tag, share, and follow, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week. So thanks for watching the Jeep segment. Instead of taking Jeep's at the Jeep segment, we figured we're gonna go to Ford's Garage, which was y'all's three idea, which sounds great to me. Actually, I'll give Zach the idea for that one. I think we saw it on Instagram. So, okay. a cool local restaurant, and I kinda wanna start doing some more local stuff like that. So, so this Cobra just came in. I don't even think you've seen it yet. I have not. It's a 2003. It's known as a Terminator because that was the highest horsepower car built by any manufacturer in 2003. 390 horsepower supercharged. It sounds fast. It, it is fast. It drives really good. Alex wants to drive it. So this is one of the best ones we've got. They don't get to drive this stuff. What else is neat about this is only 621 of these were white. Wow. And only 170 of those had the parchment leather interior. These bucket seats. So really neat car. And there's one of our trucks from the Pennsylvania find. I'm guessing you're driving that. I'm driving that. Does that towel come with it? Uh, the towel comes with it because I don't want the sun to hit the dash. That's and check, check this out. So this truck has been sitting since 1993 in that collection. So we did a full service on it. But I took the cover off the seat. The seat has never been sat in until now. Look at that. It's <laughs> pristine. So we haven't done a full detail on this yet, but we did a major service when stuff sits this long. It takes quite a bit. Yeah. Changed all the fluids, new brakes, new tires, both gas tanks had to be replaced, both sending units, fuel pump, and of course the injectors, because this is a 1987. What else is really crazy about this truck, Kels, really, really rare, is this is a three on the tree. That First gear. Your mom said that's how she learned how to drive a standard. Yep, second yep. gear. Third gear, your mom learned how to drive a standard in a Granada. It was a three on the tree. And I learned how to drive a standard on a 49 Chevy truck. Now we're meant to be. So we're gonna go take these to Ford's Garage for lunch. Awesome. So follow us there. See you there. giant funnel tower of piston onion rings. Okay. Ford pickles. Okay. Buffalo chicken dip. All right. Anything else you want to try? Sounds like it'll do it. I think we'll start off with that. Okay, cool. Pickles and buffalo chicken dip. I like the onion tower. Yeah, it's pretty cool. For oil, an oil funnel. And then they got a hose clamp on the Napkin. Very automotive. All right, what are we doing first? What is that? Fried pickle. Buffalo dip. Thank you. Tastes like buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Cauldron. Throw the pickle. I'm only a single dip. Ooh. It's really good. Horseradish dip. It's exciting. It, it is exciting. Very good. Get an onion ring. Up the tower. Power. So far, so good. Awesome. Really good. Appetizers are all good so far. Thank you. Bird. 
chicken sandwich. Sweet. It's pretty good. Salt like chicken. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, that's good. That's amazing. Patty milk. Okay. It's huge. And <laughs> the buffalo mac. Looks great. Looks great. Let me know if I can get you guys anything, okay? Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. That is a big patty melt. Great. Tastes like a patty melt. Really good. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You gotta take a bite. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well, that was good. I think that my favorite thing was the appetizers. Same. I like the fried pickles with the horseradish. Yeah. Ready for a, a ride home with the truck? I am. That's three on the three. <laughs>